How many of you are in need of His power? Let us sing it again. If this is your power. If this is your glory. If this is your glory. Lord, if this is your presence. If this is your presence.
Oh, there is a wonderful name The name of Jesus There is a wonderful name Jesus There is no
for bringing us together the platform of faith. Have faith in God. Good afternoon. Again, we have met for a purpose of which the salvation of our soul. Our simple topic today Listening to the word of God. Believing the word of God. And obeying the word of God. Will yield for you many big fruits. Take time to read the word of God. As you read, listen to what the word says. Again, believe the word of God. Because he has said it. Even if you have not seen it, then obey it. Or your prayers will be answered. I'm reading uh, Romans. Romans 10 from verse 14. How then shall they call on him whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? My God, my God, my God, the God you have not believed. Before you begin your prayer, you must have things you believe about the God you are talking about. This my God can do this. This my God can do that. Don't just call God on things you do not believe. Because 10.14 again, Romans. How then shall they call on him whom they have not believed? 
And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the gospel of peace, who bring glad tidings of good things. Kale baliko abirira batia go batanakiriza. Era balikiriza batia go batanawulira ko. Era baliwulira batia awata ya abulira. Era baliwulira batia okujja konga batumidwa. Ngabo echa wandiki bwanti ebigere byabwe nga birunji nyo ababulira njiri eye mirembe. Verse 16. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed our report? So then, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So God specifically sent his son. Kaleno katonda mubulamba lamba yatuma mutabaniwe. To speak to us his word. O kututegeze chigambo che. That we may know his will. So bolo kumanyo kwa gala kwe. What is the will of God in my life? O kwa gala kwa katonda kwe kuli wambula mubu ange. And that is what the Lord Jesus has taught us. They asked him, Lord, teach us to pray as John taught his disciples. I'm reading Luke 11. Now it came, verse from verse 1. Now it came to pass as he was praying in a certain place when he ceased that one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray as John also taught his disciples. So he said to them, When you pray, say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Boyamala, kwa igiri suave, omu na mugamba anti, mukama wafe, tu igiri zo kusaba, ilanga yokana, boya igiri zaba igiri suave. Na bagamba anti, bumusa banga, mugamba anga anti, chitafe, elinyari yori tukuzibwe, obuwa kabaka buobu je, biyo ya gara wikolewe mungusi, nga wikolewe mungulu. Let thy will be done. Okwa gala kwa kukolewe. Jesus said, yes, we are gamba. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. John 14, 13 and 14. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Definitely, he will do it. But listen to me. 14, 13, and 14 of John. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Nabuli chebu nasabanga mulinyari ange, echo nachikola anga, chita ange agulumizibwenga mumuana. Bumu nasabanga chikamba chona mulinyari ange, echo nachikola anga. If you ask anything, he will do it. Ajachikola. It is true. But according to his will. If you ask anything which is not according to his will, he, Jesus, will never do it. He will do only things which are in his will. According to God's will. Those things which are not of God's will, forget he will never do them. No, Lord, you said if you ask anything, we ask anything in your name, you do it. Do this, do that, do that. He will never do them. 
Before you pray, you must know the will of God towards what you are asking for. But let me give you in brief. If you are sick, it is the will of God to heal you. If you are poor, it is the will of God to bless you. Oh. These are the issues now. How do I know his will? I want to get married. It is his will to give you marriage. I want to build a house. It is his will for you to build a house. I want to get a good job. This is his will because he gave you the hands to work. Pray. There are prayers which are so perfect when organized. They cannot be opposed. They are non-opposed prayer. Give us our daily bread. I want to know whether it is God's will for me to eat. It is God's will. And even when he was teaching the prayer, he said, give us our daily bread. May the Lord give you your daily bread. Father, let thy will be done. To provide unto them all their daily bread. Those who cannot get enough food. Father, I knew in Jesus' name. It is thy will to give them daily bread. Father, show them all the food they need. In Jesus' holy name. To go be the glory. But listen again. Oh God, you are good. I'm reading Proverbs 30. God is good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm reading Proverbs 30 verse 7. Two things I request of you. Deprive me not before I die. Remove falsehood and lies far from me. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with the food allotted to me. Lest I be full and deny you and say who is the Lord. Or lest I be poor and still and profane the name of my God. Nkusari ya bigambo bibiri Tonyi manga sinafa Janga webi gambe vitalimu Nebi obulimba Bibe wala nange Tompanga buavu Ne wankuba dobu gaga Ndi sange mele jeneta aga Ne moku kutanga Ne nkwe gana Ne njo geranti mukama yani Elane mengo kubo muavu Ne ziba Ne njo gera bubi Elinyari ya katonda wange So have you heard that? So don't worry, the Lord will always give you the food you need. But when you get it, don't forget about it. The Lord will give you the money you need. But when you get it, don't forget to pray. Don't Forget to go to church. Because it is that God who gave you the money. Brethren, it is his will. For the sick to be healed. Listen to what he said. When I'm in the world, I'm the light of the world. His part on the ground makes the clay and the smeared upon the blind man and he told him go and wash in the pool of Siroa he went and washed and came back seeing to go be the glory the light of the world Christ Jesus wants you to be healed what is your issue Mm, I'm reading 9.4 of John. I must work the works of him who sent me 
while it is day. The night is coming when no one can work. As long as I'm in the world, I'm the light of the world. When he had said these things, he spat on the ground and made clay with the saliva. And he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. And he said to him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam, which is translated saint. So he went and washed and came back seeing. Fetchitu kwani do kore mili mujoye yantuma, obudenga misana, echiro chidja, omutu mwata yinziza kukore da. Buemba muusi, ndi musana kwansi. Buyamano kongira buachio, na wanda malusu kutaka, na tabule taka na malusu, na musige taka kumaso, na mugambanti, gendo na be, mchidiba chasiro wamu, okutegezi wakua chonti, e ya tumibuwa, awo na agenda na anaba, na koma wonga alaba. To go be the glory. HT wachideri katonda. Hmm. I'm reading John 5, verse 5. Now a certain man was there who had an infirmity 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there, he knew that he already had been in that condition a long time. He said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. But while I'm coming, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your bed and walk. And immediately the man was made well and took his bed and walked. Ni waba wa mtu, eri nendu wa de, nga ya kamare miaka makumi ya satu mumu nana. Yesu wa yara wa yonga agarami de, na tegera nga ya kamare na kunyinji. Na mugamba nti, oyakalo kubo mula muu. Omurande na muda munti, sebo, sili na muntu asura mchidiba ama ziweke selera. Nze wenzi jira, omulalanga ansoso kukamu. Yesu na mugamba nti, goloko ka, weti kechitanda cho, otambule. Ama nguwago, omuntu naba muna muu, ni eti kechitanda che, na atambula. It is the will of the Father, that is why he sent his son Christ Jesus for you to be healed. Kwa gala kwa chita fe, yeso ngarachi ya tumamu kama wafe Yesu Christo, gosobolo kuwonye zebwa. Are you sick today? Oli muradu olu wale. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let the will of God be done in your life. Kwa gala kwa katonda, kakukole wembu la mubo. Remember our topic. Juki lo mutuwe gwa Listening, believing, and obeying the word of God will bear for you more big fruit. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be here! Be here! Be here! It is His will for you to be here. There's nothing wrong. So I stretch my hand in Jesus' name. Whichever place where you are, the Holy Spirit will reach you, will touch you, because it is the will of God for you to be healed. Is it your stomach be touched in Jesus' name? I can feel the power moving. Is it uh, a brother you have a neck problem? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit is touching you. Oh Holy Spirit, thank you for laying your hand on this man with a neck collar. May all the pain disappear now. May all the sickness throw the body go. In the mighty name of Jesus. Brother, check, check, check. It is God's will for you to be here. It is God's will for you to be here. And the barren women today, eh, today is a, a good day in the season. I want you to write and mark okay. God's words. Because they are not Kakandi's words. The, the words which will come to pass. Today for the barren women. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Touch your womb. Whether you touch it heavily or whatever. I just want you to believe the words you have listened to come to pass. 
Father, as I touch my stomach, in the mighty name of the Lord and Savior Christ Jesus, these barren women, whatever hindered them to conceive, whatever hindered them to conceive, oh God. You have started feeling the pain now. Mm. Whatever hindered you from conceiving, I command it out. With the raising my hand, the sword of the Holy Spirit towards your womb, whatever. I'd refuse you to conceive. Give way. Give way. Straight to your womb. Whatever hindered you. Give way. Give way. Give way. Give way. Whatever hindered you to conceive. God. Give way! Give way! Give way! Give way! Give way! Give way! In the mighty name of Jesus. Give way! 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 Give this is your day. It is God's will for you to conceive. Whatever, how many years you have spent, that doesn't matter. Listen, believe, and obey the word of God which will come to pass. Will not this word. I'm just a vessel. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anything hinder you you from conceiving in the mighty name of Jesus Christ give way give way give way others have started vomiting give way give way give way give way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ receive children be able to conceive. Father, give them the ability to conceive. Conceive in Jesus' name. 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 Conceive in the mighty name Jesus Christ. Whatever had hindered you. Oh Jesus, you are so good. You are so good. This is why you. Hey, oof, this is why you came. Oh Jesus, Is it fibroids? Give way! 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Christ. Fibros ah! Fibros ah! Fibros ah! Fibros ah! Ow! Fabulous out! Fabulous out! Give way! Vow! Give way! Vow! In the mighty name of Jesus. Christ. Thank you, Jesus. It is over. It is over. Father, let them come and give their testimonies. I count those who believed as testimonies. Remember, I'm reading Luke. Chapter 1. Listen to this. Mm, I want you to believe. 145 of Luke. Blessed is she who believed. For there will be a fulfillment of those things which we are told her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God, my Savior. For he has regarded the low state of his maid servant. For behold, henceforth, all generation will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, 
and holy is his name. Awere duwa mukisa, ea kiriza, kumanga bili tukirizi webio, ya wakambi wa mukama. Mariamu na agamba anti, ememe yange tendeleza mukama, no moyo guange, gusa nyukide katonda umulokozi wange, kumanga labi obuna kubuwa muzana we, kumanga laba, okusoka lero, abe mirembe jona, bana mpita anga awere duwa mukisa, kumanga umuinza ankole debi kulu, neri nyalie, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name Jesus In the mighty name Jesus Christ. Whatever had blocked your womb. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Your tubes be open. Fibrous arm. Arm. In Jesus' holy name. Thank you, Jesus. It is his will Kwa for you, a jobless man, to get a e job. How lucky is your day today? Eh, Father, as I touch my pockets, all those people who have been jobless. It is your will, Father in heaven, our creator, in Jesus' name, O Holy Spirit, O Holy Spirit, touch them all to get good jobs. Let them write and remember this day that Lord God, you said it through me, your servant, and you have fulfilled it. Let them come to give a testimony. In the mighty name Jesus Christ. Father, give them good jobs. Those who have heard the gospel, who are listening to me, and they are jobless, who have believed this gospel, those who have obeyed it, Father, give them jobs. Put jobs in their lives. I say receive jobs. Receive a good job. Hey, receive a good job. 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 In the mighty name Jesus Christ. It is the will of God the Father for you to get a good job. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive your job. Thank you, Jesus Christ. You have done it. For those that their finances have been lowered to zero. It is the will of God to uplift you financially. To bless you financially. Stretch your hand. In the mighty name of the Lord and Savior Christ Jesus. Father, as we have raised our hands, my hand represents you, O Lord. Represent your word. I speak your word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. But according to your will, remove them from dust. To sit with the princess. Father. Bless them financially. Let them mark this day. That it will that day I believe. That I'm no longer poor. Set yourself I'm no longer poor. Because the Lord has said. He has blessed my life. I'm no longer poor. The Lord Jesus has said. He has blessed my life. It is the will of God. For me to be blessed. I want to see you rejoicing. Receive, receive your blessing. Bless financially. I receive. Be blessed 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 financially. I receive. I said, be blessed financially. I receive. Listen, believe, obey, and take the blessing. I receive. Say, I take the blessing, in Jesus. Name. I take the blessing in Jesus. Name. I take the blessing, in Jesus. Name. I take the blessing in Jesus. I receive the blessing, in Jesus. Name. I receive the blessing in Jesus. Name. I obey the word of God. I obey the word of that God. That from today. That from today. Poverty, poverty is no more. Is no more. Poverty, 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 stagnation, stagnation, 
Are the things of the past? Are the things of the past? Setbacks? Setbacks? Are the things of the past? Are the things of the past? Stagnation? Stagnation? Are the things of the past? Are the things of the past? Setbacks? Setbacks? Are the things of the past? Are the things of the past? From today, from today, I have received the blessing from the living God. I have received a blessing from the living God. And from today, and from today, I'm among the rich. I'm among the rich. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. You have done it. You have done, done it. it. You have done it. You have done, done it. it. You have done it. You have done it. I'll shout hallelujah. I'll shout hallelujah. <laughs> Are you sick today? It is his will for you to be healed. Is it headache? Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Is it the chest? Touch. Be here. One yes, Be here. One yes, be healed in Jesus' name. Begin to breathe well. Begin to breathe well. What is your goal? What is your goal? May the will of God be done upon the goal you have. Any goal you have con concerning the will of God, let it, it be fulfilled in Jesus' name. For the children who are at school, Father, I pray. It is your will to give them wisdom to succeed. Father, whichever place they are, locate them, O oh Lord, in their school, in their classes. Father, give them wisdom. Father, give them knowledge. Father, give them, knowledge. Father, give them understanding. Even those who who cannot understand from today Father put wisdom in their brain let them succeed let them succeed let them prosper in life let them remember this day in Jesus holy name is it God's will for you to be married Heavenly Father in Christ Jesus all the girls who are not married ladies who are not married and they want to be married yes Lord it is your will Jesus for them to marry Father give them good marriage 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 in a Christ Jesus we pray in a Christ Jesus we pray in a Christ Jesus we pray listen, believe obey his word let us now give you an example of our sister who came from Nairobi. And she asked me, I want to know the will of God. What was the answer and what was the issue? This wait. It is God's will for you to be married. It is God's will for you to have money. It is God's will for you to have peace. In any spirit, that, that demon which refuses you to have peace, I command it ah! 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 Out! Ah! Any spirit that hinder you from getting delivered. I command it out. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Christ. In the spirit that hinder you 
from getting healed. Ah! Give way! In Jesus' holy name. Let's listen to our sister from Nairobi, Nairobi as we continue. Is it God's will? Our prayer is God's will. Prayer Prayer My question is that I would like to know the will of God in my life because I've complicated my life. It is his will to succeed. He wants to manifest himself through you. Why did you desert your husband? To be honest, finances. No. The group issue. You had a lot of groups. True. 100%. I confirm it. 100%. I confirm about the groups. Even I'm in WhatsApp group, Facebook, my friends, everything that a man is nothing. It's true, 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 true. And I will remind you, Liz. Liz is Elizabeth. Elizabeth, she's my friend. And where? In Nairobi. Not in the groups. Elizabeth, <laughs> And Liz kept on talking to Sarah. It's it's me. But Sarah is me. Sarah. Come, come, come. Jesus, the lover of my soul. Father, I command the spirit of killing, sting, destruction. Father, help her. She's also your daughter. Be free in Jesus' holy Whatever you want to ask, Christ Jesus is aware. <laughs> he knows it all. That's not an issue. I'm wondering, because we have never discussed this with you, and uh, I did not expect this. And you survived the bad people, gunmen. True. I survived the gun. It was here and I was just here. But I don't know how God saved me, but I survived it. It was January. I think of 2018. They wanted to rob me, but they did not rob me. I ran, but he cocked the gun. You survived the gun, man. Oh, they were three. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Chitufu, chitufu. There are three men under the tree. It's true. It's true. Chitufu. Chitufu. And they had gun and cocked it. Where's Pamela? Okay, I'm seeing Pamela here. She's my friend. Pamela <laughs> Mukwano Kwangi. True. Chitufu. She's my She's friend. She's one of the group. Yes. Yeah. The short girl, Scovia, did she die? Scovia. Scovia. The short one. She was a bit short with a yeah, big bone. There is a lady called Scovia, but it's been long since I saw her. But she has big bumps. Big bump. True. And she's short. Scovia, I know what you are doing. I know what you are And that is how you admired to put on the jeans. I want to look like her and put on the I remember your jeans. Yeah. Yes, one of God. <laughs> Do I know you? No, I don't know you. I, I know you on YouTube. Live, live, today. 
<laughs> it was in October when you saw me you said oh. yes <laughs> this man you walked like a this but they said this man can see you <laughs> if you are watching him <laughs> can he see me now <laughs> then you no, see, baby, <laughs> Press where a bit out. Can you see me now? Did you know you are looking at me? <laughs> but it's true. It's true. It's true. I saw you. I used my phone. <laughs> yes. Viewers over the world, you want to know God's will? It is the will of God to manifest Himself through you. It is the will of God to perform a miracle in your life. And it is the will of God for you to marry. It is the will of God for you to prosper. To go be the great. Today we shall move too much. And uh, we look at the prophecies. Remember, prophecy comes when it is going to rain, when no drop of rain. It will happen when nothing. No sign. Let us review what happened at the platform of faith on Sunday, 5th September 2021. I was just reminding you. I was just reminding you of the prophecies I have come giving from, from 2.14 about this name of Russia, about the President Putin. Listen to this and we shall go back to 2.14 if you dare pray. We are praying for the whole world. But the Lord showed me a big blast in Russia. And it started as one. But they became three after time. So Russia should take care of its security so much. Because this is something strange and many people have died. Heavenly Father in Christ Jesus, we pray that all those who are going to die, though the blast will be there, Father, reduce the number of the dead. Father, save their lives. And all the countries with the problem of war, Father, in Jesus' name, settle their issue. Save them, O Lord, in Jesus' holy name. Now, it is nearly six months from now. But I want you to look at what is going on in Russia. We shall all be affected. And listen to these words I gave to the congregation the prophecy on 10th Sunday. August 2014. We are in the service. Listen attentively to these words and see what has not happened. If you dare pray, uh, the Lord showed it to me. Mm -hmm. now, now let's count from 10th August 2014 up to now. 
kati tubale okuvange na kuzo omwezi kumi omwezi ogwo munana ngumi bili mu kumi nena paka kati how many years are ejo miyaka emeka 7 years and some months God revealed it to me seven years ago and people doubted whether it will happen or not <laughs> but <laughs> to go be the groom this is what is going on now in Russia the woman say Mary Mariam I'm reading 145 of Luke. Blessed is she who believed, for there will be a fulfillment of those things which were told her from the Lord. If I've said today you will conceive, I want you to listen, believe, and obey the word you will conceive. If I put my hands in my pocket, you get a good job. Put your eyes. 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 Put your your, your finances. May the will of God be done in your life. In your finances. Your job. Because the Lord Jesus will fulfill what he said. I may not be important. But the word of God through me is so important. If I say be healed. You be healed. Let's listen. Among the several prophecies that the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, gave about the country Russia, listen to this prophetic revelation that God Almighty revealed to him way back as far as seven years ago on the 10th day of August 2014 during a Sunday service. Another big trouble is coming. If not prayer, it will be worse. Because you may think it does not affect us. But once it happens in Russia, America will be affected. The whole Asia will be affected. Europe will be affected. China will come in. China And this will be the first war China with other nations. Europe will not like it. Europe America will not like it. When China has joined Russia, they cannot manage. Remember, China has the majority of the human being living on the earth. So how can you fight these people? China is the world industry. China and they have gone far in technology. Russia surprised gas for the whole Europe. Once it close it, many people in Europe will die. So you cannot say that we shall not be affected while these countries, our bosses are affected. Are affected. We better stretch our hands. Once your boss is affected, you too will be affected too much. Rise up. Let's raise our hands for Russia. And that trouble not to happen. Let God play the good role. Ask now the Lord of your soul. 
as you stretch your hand upon Russia to stop that trouble with all your strength in prayer we shall pray for them heavenly father in Christ Jesus Lord we stretch our hands for Russia we stop that war let them sit on the table and remove the sanctions stop stop the war stop the war prayer strongly because it will affect you the Chinese are coming in it will be terrible prayer 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 stop stop the war prayer Heavenly Father and Christ Jesus Lord we beseech you praying for Russia and that trouble to be over we stop that war in Jesus mighty name Lord answer our prayer we beseech you oh Lord Jesus help us stop the war prayer Watch your news. Watch the CNN and other news. Watch what is going on. I talked about the sanctions. <laughs> Are they there or not? I talked about the China issue. What is going on? I talked about the gas issue. Seven years ago. What is not taking place? I talked about the war. You have not seen the war. It is going on. So I urge you believers all over the world with this prophecy which has come to pass prayer 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 is the masterpiece Viewers all over the world, if you can pray, pray that the Lord will save. Because God reveals to save. If I said be healed. Listen, brother, sister. It is God's will for you to be healed. There's a time I gave prophecy to Ethiopia. People thought I was joking. Man of God doesn't joke. No, that man he talks slowly. Maybe. Let's listen to what happened. Prophecy. Prophecy. On Sunday, the 26th day of July 2020, while at the platform of faith, the Sovereign Lord revealed to his servant Prophet Samuel Kakande what was going to happen in the country of Ethiopia. And these were his words. Let's lay our hands on Ethiopia. And uh, the people who are about to die or to be killed over there something is about to happen in Ethiopia and it will not be good to the whole world let's pray for Ethiopia the man of God prophet Samuel Kakande urged the viewers all over the world to pray that God Almighty provides a solution 
because of the thousands of people he saw dying. Father in Christ Jesus, Father, we pray for the nation Ethiopia and uh, the people who are about to be killed over there in plenty. Father in Christ Jesus, hear our voice. Those who are going to die in thousands. Father, save their lives. Father, bring a solution. Oh, Jesus, you're wonderful. Oh, Jesus, you're wonderful. Oh, Jesus, you're great. Hear our prayer. Amos chapter 3 verse 7 clearly tells us that the sovereign Lord does nothing unless he reveals his secrets to his servants, the prophets. Three months later, this prophecy came to pass, as shown in this world news report. Ethiopia's Prime Minister Abe Ahmed has reshuffled his cabinet and top military leadership. Dansha, which is in the Amhara region, was captured by Tigrayan forces a week ago during fighting. Hundreds of people have already been killed in the conflict that's been mostly concentrated in western Tigray close to the border with Sudan and Eritrea. So, I urge you believers all over the world to be on your knees for Russia, or Russia and Europe, ne Europe and USA ne America. and uh, I saw the flag of Britain coming down what might have happened? I asked myself what might have happened? But grief, sorrow of a great death. Mm, let's pray for Britain as if Russia has a problem but Britain is about to enter big grief they should take care of their security too much and I saw three passenger aircraft being brought down. Oh, a tragedy. People mourn. The whole world mourn. Oh God. Help us. Help us. Help us. Help us. Father, we kneel down before you. Because this is our responsibility. Upon this aircraft. Which will be gunned down. Lord Jesus. These are also your children. Have mass upon them. And Jesus holy. Mm. Now the world will shift from uh, army. soldiers. And now it turn to passengers. And the civilians. You will see a big ship carrying passengers. Drawn passenger down. This war will bring a very big disaster. And the most especially on five great nations. Five. One, two, three, four, five. If not big prayer, strong prayer. Strong prayer. It will affect the whole world. But these five countries uh -huh. What a trouble eh, 
Don't jubilate that Putin is in problem. It is the enemy doing all this. He can change his mind in time. Father, touch him to change his mind. Touch Putin to change his mind. Touch those who are involved to change their mind. Father, let there be peace. Because the world is in a state of war. Because this what I see. Because As if irreversible. Prayer can do it. Because Mark 10, 26, 27. And they were greatly astonished, saying among themselves, Who then can be saved? But Jesus looked at them and said, With men it is impossible, but not with God. For with God all things are possible. Neba wuni ikirira nyo. Neba muga ambanti. Kale anya inzo kuloko ka. Awa yesu naba tunulida. Naba gambanti. Mubantu. Techi inzika. Na yesi kwe chichi erika tonda. Kubanga vyo nabi inzika erika tonda. I'm listening to this. Ata ulidi za chino. I'm reading 9.22.23 of Mark. And often he has thrown him both into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said to him, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Yesu na mgamba nti, obango hizo kukiriza, bionabi hizika, elio ya kiriza. Now it is possible to us who believe if we pray. Prayer edeki, prayer edeki. Prayer can do many things. Prayer heals. Prayer saves. Everywhere he went, Jesus was doing well. It is his will to heal. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Our sister Hasfa, you are pregnant, but the pregnancy wants to live. We pray for you in Jesus' name. Let the pregnancy remain in Jesus' holy name. To all those women who have problems of miscarriages, Father, we pray for them in Jesus' name. Touch them, O Lord. Let them touch baby life, baby in Jesus' name. All those who have lost jobs, Father, refresh them. Improve them. Give them new jobs. Where it is possible, according to your will, let them go back their jobs. In Jesus we pray. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Viewers all over the world. And this is why we urge you to build the house of God. We want to listen to the will of God. What is the will of God in my life? I have a problem, but what really happened? Who knows it exactly? You may have choose this and that. But where are the mistakes? It is better to know what happened and the cause. The problem, the cause. Who knows it? Nine-nine of us, Samuel. Mm. 
Who knows it? Someone knows it. Samueli amanyi ensibuko. Ah. Wandugu wa Kenya. Our brethren in Kenya. Tunawakaribisha, tunawapenda sana. We love you and we welcome you so much. Eh, Uganda Kampala. In Uganda Kampala. Mm, tunawakaribisha. We welcome you. 99 of Formerly is uh, when a man went to inquire of God, he spoke thus, Come, let us go to the seer. For he who is now called a prophet was formerly called a seer. Edda mu Israeli, omutubo ya genda ngwa kubuza kachonda, na yoke na angabuwa tinti, jangu tu gende liyo mulabi, kubango ya itibwa nabika kano, bamu itanga mulabi edda. The problem. Oh, buzibu. What? Could be the cause and the solution here from the prophet. Okay, let's listen to this prophecy and then turn to the healing. Martin Kabuito from Kenya. Martin Kabuito from Kenya. I was married with the first wife. She took poison. Now I married again, but I have never had any baby. And we have been married for more than eight years. Why do you rush to poison not on the child first? Before your wife, you claim would die. There was a complaint about a child. And this is why this lady took poison. What, what you are talking about, Prophet, is true because when I married her, we discussed about the baby I married her with. And you complained about the baby? Yeah. She asked, why don't you like my baby? Man of God, what you are saying is true. I didn't love our child. Before my wife died, she was pregnant. And before she delivered, she took poison. And she gave to the child which I married her with. Musaja wakatonda kusongene yomwana. Chiri nchi omuchina lono nagendo kumuwasa. Yajano omwana. Kati, wadina muwasa. Mubanga yetuwa maranga tubela fena na afu na urubuto. Na ya bata nazala, na ye uobutua yoyo mchala, no mwana ono mujia na njina. Na ina amu uobutua. The unborn baby died. No mwana yaita nazali, wa yali murubuto na afa. And the baby was mine. O yumana yali wange, yali murubuto. What do you want me to do? O ya gala nkolechi. I got you. Nafuna gwe. But as a young man, they were telling you. Yeah. How can you marry a woman with a baby? My sister had complained, I'm marrying a pregnant woman, man of God. If this is the case, you don't like my baby. Let me poison myself. It was a Wednesday. Amen. What man of God is saying is true. It was on a Wednesday. In the year 2006, we were together, but I left for work to Nairobi from the rural area. When I left, uh, she took poison. Because they had told her that you have decided to drop her. It is true. And you have already got the medium girl. I had encountered a medium girl, and before it went deep, the woman heard that I wanted to drop her, and I, she took poison. So, the problem, the cause. So, God is watching you. Now, what is the problem you have? I married again, but I have never had any baby. Because you didn't like children. How do you go to a mango which doesn't bear mangoes. Let us not go far. Where the wife uh, you have? In Nairobi. Okay, Nairobi. get time and bring her. But you ask Jesus to forgive you. Because what you people did was bad. Jesus, forgive me. Our brother, you have three kids. 
you are here. You have two girls and one boy. And uh, there is a question on the boy. My name is Lisolom Zikangule from South Africa, Men of God. I have two girls and one boy. There is a question with the boy. He is autistic, suffering from mental sickness. He is in a special school in South Africa. What Prophet has said is true. Musajja wa katonda cheyogedde kitufu yenza wa Luganda goyogedde ko musajja mva South Africa nina ba wala babiri omulenzi ya soka nyo omulenzi ono alika kabuzo nti yazali bwango bwongo bwe temukola bulunje namu kasera kanu ali musomere lyenja wele likola kubana bayino bwongo butetu kabulunje you said oh god era no gamba i katonda i should take the pictures to the man of god nte ko kutwa ile ifana oh yes very true man of god very true the picture is here with me. Clap for Jesus for the spirit of truth. I brought the pictures to you so that we can pray for him. This problem has been bothering us for quite some time. That is why we came here without saying a word. The man of God just came straight to the root cause of our problems. I'm wondering, man of God, because I've never met you. I only see you on television. I'm meeting you for the best time. For you to give this prophecy to me, you are a real man of God. You remember there were some difficulties in producing that particular child. It's very, it's very true, man of God. We took some time to conceal. Because I see the nurses with the gloves. I, yes, I was having an assisted delivery. Even when I was giving birth to him, I had some difficulties during birth. That is why this leg, yes. it is yes. still pain. Yes, prophet. And it came from that when we were delivering. It's true, men of God, even during pregnancy, she was experiencing the pain from the hip, right leg. You were not the man of God, you are really a man of God. The magnum cheese. Be here. Rise up. You are free. My name is Elizabeth Mangi from Kenya. I really want to know, Prophet, what can I do to know my purpose in life? Thank you. Musajja wa katonde kibuzo chenku buza njagala nyo kumanya kigende lwambola mu bwange nkoze ntia okuchimanya First of all this marriage issue Okusokera dale nsonge ne yobufumbo has put you on a stand Still Ekutadde awo it is the biggest problem you have in life Ekutadde kuchijinji bwe busibo busingo bunene bwo inambola mu and you are annoyed very true very true sir you have rage oine chiri kumutima and you have not forgiven the man Era tuna sonyi wa musajja there is a man who Gave me a son, but I came to realize that he was married later. Sajja katundaluo musajja yanzala muo mwana, nina chitegira nchi mufumbo luvanyuma. That's why I got so mad with him, and I got so angry with him. I have never been married, though I had various men here and there. But I have never found a serious one, so I don't know what to do, man of God. By the blood of Jesus. No msaigwa yesu. Father, give her the grace. Chitafe muwechisa. Rise up. Just forgive. Forgiving them is that you are releasing your sedative. It is true. From today you see what God will do for you. You get a very good man. A good home. I forgive him now in the name of God. Father, she is your daughter. Have mercy upon her. Human Reza. You are free. But the issue of the family. It is that the grandmom. And uh, your mom. There arose some issues. 
Waliwe ensonge za balukawo wakati awo. Yes, prophet. The grandmom was not happy. Jajja muchala na tabasanyufu. And uh, all this came from the way your mom left her mom. Era bino byenna byajjo lensonga. Yes. Went to marry or to get to you people? Yes, my mother could run away for a long time. My grandmother and my mother were not in good terms. Because the dowry issue, yes. it became a very big issue. Exactly. And the parents of your mom complained and said that your father doesn't respect them. Yes, sir. Yes. They have never seen them. They have never given them even a dowry, even a cow. Yes, prof. So they say that those children, how can they be blessed if you people have never introduced yourself to us? Yes, prof. It's very true whatever you are saying. So the parents cried yes, and they said we wanted our daughter in school yes. and she left school and she go for the men yes. now you want us to receive her children no way so you people you are there but there is rotating very many complaints about you like a curse. That's very true, because even my mom right now she hasn't finished to pay her daughter and my father is rich already. And what I can remember very well is when our grandmother died, she said some sort of thing of dowry. And our family is not well since my mother has not paid her dowry completely. Because even in our family we are not married. Our first born brother, our first born sister, me, we are not married. And those who are married, they go to second families. Even for them, bring dower at home is zero. Very true, very true. May Jesus help you. I'm wondering how you get to see all this and to hear and all of that. My name is Vincent Afia from Kenya. My question is, uh, from where I come from in our family, all men do not work. Even if they get work, they are either fired or they quit. The family have married to all my brothers-in-law. They don't work either. They either quit or they also get fired. I'm the only one working in these two families and already I have a case which is about to take my job. Jesus said to the blind man. Yes, you are going to your faith has healed you. Thank you. Thank you. Your being in me, Jesus, it has healed you. So your being in Jesus will solve everything. There's no accident in Jesus. We shall talk about the house down the hill to say this is a home and behind you there is a home yeah that's very true that house down the hill is where we came from is our ancestral land this is where the problem came from <coughs> so there rose Rangos. Yeah, they are, they are always the time. They are Rangos there. From that house, yes. What man of God is saying is very true. About the land, this was a very, is a funny issue even today. That's why I had to go and buy my own place and run away from the family. They arose witchcraft. The man got sick. Yes, that's very and they said they bewitched him. Yeah, that's very And they went to a lot of witch doctors. They carried a lot of witchcraft at home. Yeah, that's very true. 
But yeah. anybody can get sick. It doesn't mean that you should bring this witch doctor and the other witch doctor and the other witch doctor. So the witch doctor we are there to be consulted, this consult. They work upon the children, they do nasty things on the children. What do you want the Lord Jesus to do? Our, our all these witchcraft became like curses on the children. What the man of God is saying is very true. That man who falls sick and died is my uncle. He complains about stomach, then he died. All our parents, they were advised that uh, he was bewitched. And uh, they went looking for witchcraft. There were so many witch doctors who came to our home. I can't count them. I lost a count of them. There were so many. They performed a lot of rituals uh, on my hango, slaughtered so many animals for him, but he didn't get well. The rituals were performed on us as a way of protecting us from what is perceived to be killing us. Musajja katonda chiyoge de chitufu nyo musajjo ye yalwala yali anko wange yalwala nyo nafa era bale tabalogo banji nyo mukifecho and take Jesus as your personal savior and Lord. Lord. Don't joke with Jesus anymore. No, 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 no. By the blood of Jesus. Father, we destroy all whatever witchcraft. Deliver him and the whole home. In Jesus' holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Devour! Lose your grip. Watch on the screen, brethren. See the reaction in the hands of this brother. Now the ropes. Which had put him on bondage. Whoever is here. That the enemy has put you in bondage. It is your day to be delivered. The magnum Jesus. Fire on you. Viewers over the world. Mm, the problem. What could be the cause? And the Lord Jesus Christ is able to provide solution. Yes. So, brethren over the world. We're waiting for you. Come and receive your solution. Jangu fune cho kugonjo la cho. Abika kande ministry. Wano mukakande ministries. As we are building. Ngabo tu zimba. Don't forget to give your offering. Tewe la bila ukuwa yechi webwa yote. As we are rushing to roof the church. Ngabo tu angu idizo kusobolo kusereka. To go be the glory. Echti wa chideri katonda. There are so many miracles. Walu webi ya magerobi inji. And there will be so many miracles. Era wajja kuma webi ya magerobi inji. That is why we build the house of God. Yen songa rush to zimbe nyumba ya katonda. So that we can get a place. Tu sobolo kufune echi fo. Where the Lord will work. Mukama wana kole la nafe. And Exodus. Okuva. Exodus 25. Okuva esula eyabili mwetani. Listen to what he said. Then the Lord spoke from the first verse. Then the Lord spoke to Moses saying, Speak to the children of Israel that they bring me an offering from everyone who gives it willingly with his heart. You shall take my offering and this is the offering which you shall take from them. Gold, silver and bronze, blue, purple, scarlet, thread and fine linen and goat's hair, ram skin, dyed red, burger skins and the cassia, wood, oil for the light and spices, for the anointing, oil and for the sweet incense, so on. Verse 8. And let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. Bandete de chiwe wayo, edibuli muntu mutima gwegwa gaza, muli nde tele chiwe wayo change, chino che chiwe wayo, chemuli batuala ko, zabu nefeza, nechikomo, 
Noluko yoru waka niki, nolwe fulungu, nolu miufu, nebafuta, nebio yabie mbuzi, na maliba gendika, ama nyike, ama miufu, na maliba gengonge, nolu mutigwa sita, ama futa getabaza, nebio akalosa, ebio kunyokeza, ama injaga onuku, na ama injago kutona, ukubela kukanzu, ne kuchomu chifuba. Elaba nkole la watukufu, ndiyo kentule wakati mubo. Now we are building the house of God. Kakano tuzi mbe nyumba ya katonda. That the Lord may dwell among us. Mukama asobolo kubela mufe. That we may hear the word of God. Tusobolo kuli le chigambo cha katonda. And uh, obey it. Ela tuchigondele. Believe it. Tuchikirize. And get good results. Tufunde bifamwe bilungi. All for the salvation of our soul. Yona olobu loko zibu emyo yoja. The problem. Obu zibu. What could be the cause? Do you dare to know the cause of your problem? We are waiting for you. We are waiting for you. When I come back, I will talk about the politics in Kenya. Because there will be some strife. Mm, to accept the results. Mm, there will be strife but uh, needs prayer uh, so that doesn't cause trouble if i look at it let me look at it i'll come back and tell you we are praying for kenya politics and this strife mm, to accept the results ah. There is still a strife. Big resistance. Mm, big resistance. To who will win big resistance. Mm, but I will still come back to talk about Kenya. Other countries. And the wars around the world. Mm, because we need to pray too much. Mm. Let's not forget about Tanzania. It is about to enter uh, uh, something which is not understood. Politically, it will devastate it. If they don't handle their politics well, it will really bring problems. Remember what is going on. That I, uh, the Lord gave me the message seven years ago. And I repeated, repeated, repeated it about Russia. And this is what is going on. Yes. We are still continuing. But let's hear from our brother. The problem. How he got the problem. Is another issue. But why he got this problem. If he doesn't know the cause. The problem may continue. This is what is going on in our lives. That we should know the cause. And see how to overcome it. May the Lord Jesus help you to know the cause and how to overcome it. As you touch the screen, may the Lord, the deliverer, the Savior Christ Jesus, save your soul, your body, and the financial. Let's listen to this particular prophecy as we continue. We love you on Jesus' name. Don't forget this is a platform of faith. If two or three are in my name, Jesus said, I'm within them. So it means Jesus is at the platform of faith. So whatever you ask, according to the will of God, it will be done. But uh, just remember, it should be according to the will of God. Don't pray for, for others to die. die. That's not the will of God. Okay, I'm reading Matthew 18 and 19. Again, I said to you that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I'm there 
in the midst of them all. Natemba gamba nti, obaba na mwe babidi, webe tabanga kuhusi, bulichigamba chona chebali saba, chidi wakoli wachitange alimuguru, kubanga webaba babidi, obaba satu, ngaba kunganye mulinyari yange, nange ndi awo wakati wabwe. So Jesus Christ is in our midst to answer our prayer. Okay, let's listen to this particular verse. Clap your hands for Jesus. He alone is the healer. And next on the line is Mr. Owar Vicent. He has got difficulty in rising up. Watch the agony, brethren. And he's wearing this gadget around his waist. He has got this lumbar corset following fracture of the hip bone. Remember, Jesus paid the price on the cross at Calvary. Of God's power upon his life. Watch on the screen. As healing goes on for this gentleman. Mr. Vincent. Gentleman, you're free. Rise up. I said, rise up. You are free. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mr. Vincent Thank is now Jesus. removing the corset. Mr. Vincent is now removing Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Thank you, man of God, for praying for me. Clap, 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 Turned clap, clap. Turn my cellar. I was sleeping with my back. For over two months now. But now, since I reached in this house, the man of God prayed for me. And I can't. Can't and my leg. Wow! <laughs> Thank you, man of God, for praying for me. I'm here. But you too, the heart told you. Hmm. Isn't this somebody's wife? My name is Awar Vicent from Tororo. What the man of God has said is true. When I was in Lira, I was having a girlfriend and she had my baby. She started misbehaving in the way I don't understand. I got another girl. But that girl whom I got was for someone else. And this is the reason why the steering was twisted. Say, Jesus, forgive me. Jesus, forgive me for driving other people's vehicles. For driving another people's vehicle. To God be the glory. Healing continues in Jesus' name. Praise be to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the blessed moment of healing and deliverance. And right here, the emergency section. We've got our brethren from all over the world with various ailments, inabilities. And we're starting with Mr. Ochaya David from Gulu. This gentleman cannot turn the neck with difficulty in rising or walking fast for two agonizing years. Because of excessive pain and with which he has to wear a neck collar and a lumbar corset for support. Watch the agony he has in getting up. For a period of two years, the brother is in excessive pain. Gentlemen, Jesus is healing you. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be <laughs> Brethren, watch on the screen. Mr. Ochaya is receiving this healing right now. As the man of God is praying for him. In the power of the Holy Spirit. Watch. Watch how the power of God has touched him. On the floor he goes. See the reaction in the legs. The arms. The entire body. Watch on the screen. Watch the working of God. Every part of his body is receiving healing. He's rolling over against his 
will. Watch, brethren. Father, we thank you. We give God to your holy name. Rise up and go. For you are free. Brethren, Brother David has been declared free in the powerful name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He's now removing the curses. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He's now removing the lamb of curses. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Clap, clap, clap for the healer. Jesus, thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Thank you, man of God. Thank you so much for delivering me. Thank you, Jesus. Kakande for Jesus. Kakande in Jesus. Kakande with Jesus. Jesus, the healer. Jesus is the healer. Jesus is the My name is Sir David Livingstone Ochaya from Gulu, Northern Uganda. Mpitiwa David Livingstone Ochaya, Mbidi de Gulu, Northern Uganda. I've been having a severe back pain and severe neck pain for 10 years. But the doctor gave me a neck collar for support. Because, because he said uh, my spine, cervical spine is very weak and uh, I, my head could not move well. He again gave me the corset to support my back. I came when I was a bit heavy. But now I'm light. I thank you so much, Jesus, through your servant for healing me. Once upon a time, before you started those pains, there was a woman. The woman was in the house. And the house was not looking good. And the people decided to leave her in the house. And the woman pleaded. And you kept a deaf ear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So tell us what happened with you and the wife. What the man of God has said is true. I remember the woman, she was my wife. People begin to tell me that she is sitting me, uh, fornicating with the border borders. Whenever I come, they say, your wife is not trusted. You, you, you need to check her. And as of now, we are not staying together. Did you find her with a man? I didn't find her. And she told you, as you are believing a lie, her things will not go well with you. It is true, man of God. Look for money within these two months. At least give her five million and say, I'm sorry. This woman go and check, she never fornicate. I ask Jesus Christ to forgive me. Uh -huh. Thank you. To God be the glory. Lady Jolly Kengonzi has come with difficulty in bending and walking and sitting for one and a half years she's tying a lumbar corset she has lower back pain and the pain radiates to the left leg 
be healed in Jesus holy name thank you Jesus thank you Holy Spirit healing comes from the hands of Jesus and he is the one using the man of God today to heal Lady King Onzi Jolie in the holy name of Jesus Christ you are free she has been declared free removing the cause she has been tying around her waist and she's running to the glory of God thank you Jesus She's checking her body, bending what she could not do for one and a half years. Um, chala, ye, ye. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. The lady has said that she could not run and walk, but now she can run and walk. Before all that, you dreamt a man. In the dream, the man came and terrified you a lot. He wanted to rape you or do something bad to you. You got so scared and you walked up terrified. I was about to die. My name is Kengonzi Jole and I come from Chenjojo. What the man of God has said is very true. I commonly get those dreams many times. I dream of a spiritual I dream of a spiritual man who comes to rape me and when I wake up from such a dream I wake up with severe heart palpitations and in terrible fear. So this is what happened. Then we can go to the marriage issue and uh, the man decided to marry another woman. Man of God, what you have said is true. Currently, I am married. Though I am in this marriage, I do not have peace in this marriage. And this husband of mine currently is complaining and he is saying that he's going to marry another woman. Go, you are free. The Lord will settle your issue. To God be the glory. This is our sister, Lady Beatrice Knight Biamongo. She has come from Tanzania. She has come with difficulty in walking fast, bending or doing any work for 25 years due to severe pain in the lower back. Prayer has already started in the name of Jesus Christ. And touched by the power of God, she is being moved towards her healing in Jesus' name. What a turning at the will of God. Jesus is ready to set her free at this moment. On the block, she goes to God's glory. Be here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You can see her breath has even changed because the healing power has entered her body to uproot the sickness in the back. Rise up. The Lord Jesus has said that it's time to leave. Lady Beatrice rising up in the name of Jesus. Go, you are free. She is on her feet. She cannot believe it. But Jesus has healed her. Yes, I'm on your side. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for healing. Thank you for healing. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Beatrice Biamungu and I'm coming from Tanzania. Beatrice Biamungu from Tanzania. 
I was sick for more than 25 years. I had vertebral problem and I was operated in 2000. The complication continued to be more bigger and I had kidney problem, urinary tract infection and bladder problem. Later it developed high blood pressure and chest problem and later gastritis and chronic constipation. So I have been in medication all that long for many years. And these are the many medication I've been using. This one and this one are anti-acid. So I've been using this medication every day for more than six years. And these are for nozzle polyp. So I have to spray this medication every day. Now after the prayers, I feel easy. I don't feel any pain. I had the pain on the back, but I don't feel, I had the pain in my tummy. I don't feel, and I can breathe normally. I thank God that I'm healed. Okay, thank you, down. Jesus, for healing me. I want to remind you the time of your complaint about the school documents. And uh, you said, eh. If I fail school, what will happen to me? I wanted a bright future. So, because the documents didn't go well, you took a time crying. You sat down and cried too much. And sometimes you couldn't eat food. I remember in 2002 when I finished my S4, I didn't pass my exams. And I was complaining. I cried. I cried very much. And I did not eat for some times, I remember. You said, I'd rather die. Yes, I remember. That is true, man of God. I said, I'd rather die because I didn't know what I will do and I didn't know my future, what, how will it be. I remember I complained very much. That is true, man of God, what you have said. If you want now to know the cause of your problem, this is the cause. That is why you didn't have only one sickness. Today they mention gastric, tomorrow kidney, to another time this, another time that, another time that. It is true, man of God, to offer, I said, whenever I go to the hospital, the complications have been increasing. When I go today with the guy tries it, the next day I will go, they say the aspartation. Another day when I go, it is kidney problem. Another day when I go, it is a lot of problems so learn to forgive yourself even when things have not gone well leave it for God to God be the glory this is a lesson to all of us don't curse yourself you do not create yourself leave it for God Ask Jesus to forgive you. Jesus, I ask you for forgiving me and I'll never talk bad to me. Because you already cast yourself to die. Ask Jesus to give you more time to live. More years. Because you cast your years. Jesus, I ask you to give me more years to live. Go your friend. Next is Mr. Ari Alex from Chitintale. Adakuma Mary Alex of the Chitintale. He cannot use his left hand with difficulty in walking and chewing. He has wounds on the hand. I never want to come. The man of God is praying for him. He got a road traffic accident. In the accident. name of Jesus. Jesus. Be free. So, Molulwa. You are free. Again, again, Mr. Wadembe. To God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Thank you, Jesus. Lady Sumaya from Mutumba has difficulty in walking using the right arm and chewing to, for two days. All this is due to painful legs and she has wounds as you can see bandage on her lower lip and on her leg.
following a road traffic accident the man of God has started praying for her in the name of Jesus Christ and here she is stretching out her body something she could not do before Jesus is the healer brethren and he is healing Lady Sumaya Kasana in his holy name thank you Jesus Christ thank you Holy Spirit thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Mr. Achara Joffrey from Pakwach, he has the bandage. Martin Jesus. Go, your friend. To God be the glory. Jesus, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for really healing me. Jesus is the healer. Next is Sister Nishaba Rosette. She has got difficulty in walking. Watch the gadget she's tying on the leg. She has got a swollen right ankle. Following a fall. Watch the way she's limping. She's in so much pain for one and a half months. The this is the mighty command for the healing of Sister Rosette. To flush out every pain in her leg. Watch brethren, the way she is stretching out the leg. No one is touching her. This is the working of Jesus. Mending the fractured bones of her leg. And the flesh she goes. As the Holy Spirit works upon her. Crying against her will as healing goes on for her. <laughs> <laughs> As the spiritual operation goes on for her, <laughs> watch, brethren. <laughs> All this she's doing against her will. Woman, rise up. The Lord Jesus Christ has seen you. Hallelujah! Lady Rosette is up. Now she's removing this breast that she's been tying on her leg. Remember, she has suffered this pain for one and a half months following fracture. And now Jesus has set her free. She has removed the breast. Flexing and checking her leg. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus for healing me. I thank Jesus for healing me. I could not walk like this without the gadget tied on. I fell down and I got a fracture of the leg. I was carrying bananas to the bus to go to come to Kampala. I had just left the compound shortly. Then I slid and fell. How are you feeling after the prayer? Now I feel fine. I can now twist okay, my bicycle. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. God bless you. Healing is continuing. Next is Sister Baba's energy. This lady has got difficulty in walking, in squatting, and in rising up due to severe lower back pain. For nine years, and she can't get up without being supported. Watch, brethren. Watch, watch the agony she's going through. For nine years, she has got severe pain in the knee joints. That's why you see her limping. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The power of God has touched her and on the floor she goes. Woman, rise up. For you are free. Thank you, Jesus. When the sun sets you free, you are free indeed. That is Sister Enid. <laughs> I thought I could never get healed. Thank you, man of God, for praying for me. Clap your hands for Jesus Christ.
Babas in it from Kawempe. I had so much pain. I couldn't sit for long. I couldn't bend my knees like this. But when the man of God prayed for me, I was able to say, I thank Jesus for healing me. Go, you are free. Next is Lady Alibina Ayo. Alibina Ayo. She cannot work without support. And she has this lumbar cause she's staying around the west for a period of one year. Due to severe pain in the lower back. Caused by lumbar spondylosis. In the mad name of the Lord Jesus. Christ. Be. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit has touched her. Be here. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Christ Jesus. We bless your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Healing is going on. What's the reaction in the body of this lady? Turning to all sides against her will and rolling over. Namar, get up. You are healed. That is, lady, are you getting up in the name of Jesus? Worry. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, thank you. Go, you are free. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus. Jesus Christ is the healer. Yes, Christ is the Next is Lady Josephine Tindimwebwa. Her name is Lady Josephine Tindimwebwa. She has got this lumbar corset. What's the agony with which she's getting up? She has got so much pain in the back, radiating to both legs. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. That's the mighty touch of God's power upon Lady Josephine. Watch, brethren. The reaction in her body. Be healed. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Rise up and go. For you are free. Lady Josephine has been declared free. Now rising up to her freedom. Today is her day. To take her healing. Now removing the lumbar corset. Stretching out her back. This is something she couldn't do before. She can bend. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Clap, clap, clap for Jesus. By the touch of the I'm called Josephine Tindimuevo. And I'm from Ibanda. What brought me to this place? I got a fracture of the back and this leg for a period of 10 years. I could not do any house chores. I could just sit and eat. They were almost giving me a nickname of one of the But after the man of God has prayed for me, 
After the man of God stretching out his hand in prayer for me. I felt something coming out of the back really my back. and after falling down on the ground, I rose up and now I can, bend, I can stretch my hands the pain in the back was like a spear but now it is no longer there I thank Jesus the sick are there even me I was one of them but people are telling us that there is no healing in this place it's comedy but now I have seen I have seen how people are getting healed this is not comedy personally from the corona period I've been watching the glorious I got my healing and I got the confidence that if I step here physically the God of God will pray for me and here I am I am Continuing, she has got difficult in walking and in sitting for long because of severe pain in the back. For four years, by the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be. Was the lady brethren? The power of the Holy Spirit has touched her. This is her time. She's getting up in the name of Jesus. Flexing her body. She's now removing the lumbar corset. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. I couldn't stand upright. I couldn't bend. I couldn't stretch out. Oh, yes, whoever. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. None like Jesus Christ. Next is Lady Anek Helen. She cannot walk without support. She needs someone to support her. She has got so much pain in the lower back and the pain radiating down to the legs. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. B. Healing is going on for Sister Annek Helen. Which brethren? The power of God has touched her. Watch the reaction in her body. Watch her rolling over. With no one touching her. Rise up. You are free. 
That is Lady Helen. Oh, yeah, Mchala Helen. Rising up without support. But the Holy Spirit has done it. Thank you, Jesus. Watch the lady. I praise Jesus. I praise Jesus. I praise Jesus. Go, you are free. Go, you are free. Next is Mr. Frederick Ndunga from Kenya. Oh, no, Mommy Frederick Ndunga from Kenya. With difficulty in walking fast. I know some time long ago. Has got multiple joint pain. Ningo so nazi muluma nyo. For two years caused by arthritis. Mommy Mia Kebida no brother Ningo. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Muli nyeri am kama ofe Jesus Christo. B. Onyezebwa. He's now stretching out the arms. Pacha gorole mi kono jaji wanika. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For Brethren, clap your hands for Jesus Christ. He's now removing the bandage has been tied around the arm. Yes, from the bandage, the bandage is yoke mukono to relieve the pain. Okuka kanyo bulumi. Jesus is a wonderful healer. Yes, he is a wonderful healer. Mr. Huntington cannot use the left hand. Mr. Huntington cannot use the left hand. Mr. Huntington Healing is going on for him. To God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Thank you, Lord. I'm humbled, Lord. Before the man of God is Sister Nancy from the UK. She has come with a swollen right ankle joint for six years. Time to walk. Thank you, Jesus. I can walk. And I am healed. She can run. Mr. Mdola Edi. Can not work without support of this crutch. Yes, 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 Thank you, Jesus. Prayer going on for Sister Joanne. She's asthmatic and has difficulty in breathing. By the name Jesus Christ. Yesu Christo. Asthma go. Forever. That is Sister Joanne receiving healing to be free from this asthma. Rise up and go. For so you are free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for healing me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can now breathe. Mr. Kayemba George has got painful wounds on the feet. Mami Kayemba George has never wounded because he's very much young. Has difficulty in walking fast. Be here. Oh, yes, Ebuwa. The madman, Jesus. Minya yama ni ya Yesu. Raza pango. Yimoko gende. For you are free. Kubango liwa dembe. Thank you, Jesus. We are going to Yesu. Yimoka sebo gende. Mr. Kayemba George is free. Mami Kayemba George wa dembe. We are going to Yesu kumponya. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Reverend Oyem Ayik from Australia has got difficulty in raising the right arm because of pain in the shoulder joint. Reverend Oyem, I know some people are coming from Nigeria, Abu Dhabi, Australia. It's very difficult. We didn't hear your money, dear Jesus. Be here. We need your help. 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 Watch, brethren, as healing goes on for Reverend Oyek. Watch, brethren, the way he's flexing out this shoulder joint. Rise up. So you are free. We don't want to see you again. We are free. We are free. We are free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You give me help. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, man of God. You give me life. Thank you. Clap, clap for Jesus. Thank you. You are free. I never do this before. Thank you. Continuing. Mr. John Rugut from Kenya. Mami John Rugut from Kenya. I not work without support of this crutch. Due to severe pain in the left leg. He got a fracture of the fibula and tibia bones. Together with a fracture of the humerus bone. Healing is going on for him. Now walking without support of the crutch. Watch brethren. Jesus has done something new. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus for healing me. Is continuing. Mr. Luca Maina from Kenya cannot work without support of this walking crutch. Be here. The madman. 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 Be here.
Thank you, Jesus. Mr. Maina is already up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed.